how to claim a stolen vehicle from the vehicle robberies in the chop shop, aka the salvage yard business, as your own personal vehicle. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we have the information here for you today, finally, and I'm sorry if I'm sweating. I was literally about to go for a run. I just did a video showing you some spoilers for the Yeti mission, and I just did my warm up. I'm sweating, and I got more information, and this time it's all about the chop shop and how we've been talking about this for a while now. And I say a while, it's been a day. But some of you may have noticed, like I did myself, when speaking to Yusuf, he said you can either sell the vehicle to him, you can salvage the vehicle, or you can keep it for yourself. And me and a lot of others were like, what the bloody hell? What do you mean I can keep it for myself? How do I keep it for myself then? I even went as far as to think maybe Rockstar had forgotten to put that mechanic in the game, or they had decided against it, but they forgot to take out that clip where he was saying you can keep it for yourself. But it turns out, just like everything in this DLC, it's a drip feed item. So we all saw in their trailer some drip feed cars. We know there's some drip feed missions now, including the Yeti mission, which I posted a video on before this. This is the Clucking Bell heist slash raid where we're going to be working with Vincent, so you may remember from the Diamond Casino heist. This is all drip feed stuff, and now we have the drip feed finally from Tez2 on Twitter. He says, Rockstar can allow you to claim the stolen vehicle from a vehicle robbery as a personal vehicle in future robberies. So starting, I'm assuming, on Thursday next week. This may be used with the upcoming podium robbery. So we know... As of now, we have three robberies, which we've completed because we know we only get those three every week. The cargo ship robbery, the gangbanger robbery, and the Duggan robbery. But that's not all of them. I did mention a couple days ago that there would be more coming in drip feed, and he has found this saying there's another one called the podium robbery and the McTony robbery. Now, this would explain a lot because supposedly right now we only get, as you guys know, we've completed those three robberies and we have to wait a week and everyone is fuming because why this is a stupid business. We have to wait a week for a cooldown. Well, supposedly it is not a week, but we're, we're getting to the point where we get to the podium robbery. That will obviously progress the story that's happening. And once we get to the podium robbery, we're probably going to be able to do more than one a week or three a week, I should say. I'm not sure exactly how long they're going to cut it back by, but I think it's going to be a lot more than just those three a week. And also some information on this. There's a fee to claim the vehicle as a personal vehicle. So once you've stolen it, if you choose to keep it as a personal vehicle, we don't know how much that's going to be just yet, but there is going to be a fee but it's going to be a lot cheaper than buying it, that's for sure. But, which is even better, you can get a reduced fee on buying the vehicle if you own a document forgery office. Now, it would seem that Rockstar is starting to intertwine and weave together their businesses, because as you know, with the Chop Shop, there's an option for you to buy an upgrade that kind of works together with Moore's Mutual Insurance and gives you cheaper recoveries of your vehicles. And now we have this document forgery, which has given us, if you own that, cheaper claims on our personal vehicles if we buy them as a personal vehicle. But that's all the information we have so far, guys. As I said, I will always bring you information as soon as it comes because this is the type of thing that I get excited about. But anyway, I'm off for a run. I will see you guys later on today. I, <laughs> I do have another video coming up later on today. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoy. And if we get any more information about anything, I will definitely be bringing it here. So make sure you subscribe with notifications turned on. And I'll see you guys later with a brand new video. Goodbye.